topic today is trusting in God. I have three points. The first point is God makes promises. One day God made a promise to Abraham and Sarah saying that Abraham would have an offspring. Abraham was 75 years old when he heard that he would have a baby. God gave a second promise at the age of 99. The promise was that he would have a son through his wife, Sarah. God gave another promise and visited his house. And that promise was that at this time next year, Abraham and Sarah would have a baby boy. We serve a God that makes promises. My second point is that God remembers his promises. Every promise has a birth time, a wait time, and a fulfillment time. God gave the promise to Abraham when he was 75 years old. But Abraham had to wait for long, long years for the promise to be fulfilled in his life. Even when we forget God's promises, God never forgets his promise that he gives to us. The wait time is not easy. It is frustrating and painful. No one wants to wait too long, but God teaches us to wait for his promise to be fulfilled. He teaches us to have character, to be patient, to trust in his promises, and to trust in him alone. The middle verse of the Bible says, it is better to trust in God than to put trust in man. He teaches us to put our hope in him alone. Romans 4, 18 says, against all hope, Abraham hoped in God. My third point is that God fulfills his promises. Abraham waited for 25 long years for Isaac to be born. He saw God's promise fulfilled at, in his life at the age of 100. The wait time is frustrating and painful, but it is rewarding in the end. Has God given you a promise? Who are we trusting in our waiting period? Our priority is to trust in God alone. Numbers 23, 19 says, God is not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should not change his mind. Does he not speak and then act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Let's read John 14, verse 1 through 4. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were so, or that, if that were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may also know where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Here, Jesus promises that he will come again and take us to heaven. Are we trusting that promise? Are we waiting for, for that promise? Are we waiting in expectation and excitement for the promise to happen? Are we prepared for the fulfillment of the promise? Are all God's promises of yes and amen? Keep trusting God. Jesus is coming soon. Thank you for your time.